Welcome to a new vlog. Uh, I feel that this vlog is gonna be quite a special one because... <laughs> it's time to go back to Vinjani and clean this place. Yeah, I think this vlog is gonna be special. But before we get to the actual start of the cleanup, let me show you how this whole thing started. So since I was a kid, I've always wanted to do more. Wait, that might be a bit too far. Over the past years, I've had the chance to live a pretty crazy life. And looking back, it felt like my only goal was to do more, more and more. Recently, I've been slowing down, reflecting on my life and on your life and on the impact we all have on each other. And since then, the idea of this impact really got me to start thinking differently. And that's basically when I started to realize that doing better was way better than doing more. And welcome to a new vlog. As you can see, I'm back here in Rinjani, which is in the north of Lombok. And if you've watched my recent videos, which are gonna be linked up there, I've been here to climb this beautiful volcano. And at the end of the last part, I've been talking about the trash issue, which I thought was pretty horrible in this whole national park. The trash situation out there. What the fuck? Since I was editing those three videos, I have been having this idea in mind. What if I do a volcano cleanup? For the past week, since I posted this video, I've been having so many of you guys' suggestions on how to fix this thing, and it looks like it's slightly harder than I expected. So my goal here is to come back in the area, meet some people, and see how we can maybe do a slight little change, because even if it's a slight little change, it's already better than nothing. And I've been kindly invited to this beautiful place called Sajang Glamping, uh, which is owned by Kimen, and he's a part of the Lombok Plastic Free Organization. So I met those guys, Kimen, Anton, and Rizman, the other the day and we spent a good couple hours just chatting about trash issue around Lombok and especially here in the national park. Do you guys know if there is anything that has been set up in the volcano to do cleanups? Yeah, yeah, they have a schedule for that. Okay. Maybe during the pandemic, there's nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Okay. Um, our cleanup program is every month, but um, we always welcome if volunteer wants to clean up the mountain. Thank you. Thank you so much. Looks like they have some kind of a setup already in place, but apparently it's not working or either it's working to clean up, but then the people are still trashing up so much if that's correct, if they do cleanups every month. We decided to organize a bigger meeting with some important people here in Rinjani area. And that's why I'm here now in Sajang Glamping. And that's gonna be the start of yeah, trying to figure out if we can find any type of long-term solutions. Okay, it looks like now the group is full. We have some really interesting people that can really help around this table. Ranger from the National Park, Green Rinjani also here. A group that organize trekking and also cleanups and, uh, and lots more people. But I'm gonna tell you a bit more about this whole discussion a bit later. I think we can find good solutions out of this. It's about how we can stop the rubbish. Everyone has to commit to this. Only one thing, let's stop it. Holy sh was interesting. There were so many things we discussed. I absolutely don't know where to start actually. Uh, first of all, I'm leaving this place, leaving this place to actually better come back because Ari from Green Rinjani, the good company that I told you about, I need to tell you more about this company because they're really doing a great job and I think they should be highly promoted. They're doing often cleanups and they're doing one session in two days and I want to join that and I want to see if we can bring even more people. For now they only have I think a team of around 10 people I think coming and I pretty sure we could raise a bit of money, hire lots more porters and have everyone coming down with more trash. But now let's pack, go back to Kuta and try to get ready within 24 hours to come back and uh, to pick up some trash. It's gonna be intense knowing that the fact that the hike is already an intense path. See you guys in two days. See you. Okay Bye. now let's go back. I'm really excited now. Are you excited? Fuck 
and we're back in Bomba. And uh, on the way back, I was actually texting with Ari to figure out how many porters we could have extra with us. And I was telling him, do you think having 30 porters is manageable? Which he replied, for us, it's okay. And then I directly say, what about 40? Because I mean, if he can do 30, I'm pretty sure he can do 40. He say, okay, deal. So then I replied, okay, let's have 50 porters in total. So now the only thing is that, wow, it's only one day. How can we get 50 people? And he just told me that 50 porters plus the food, plus the entrance fee, plus the insurance for everyone, everything the whole logistic it will be roughly 39 million 675 thousand indonesia rupiah which is hey siri how many euros is 30 thousand indonesian rupiahs is 2312 euros and 26 cents okay and this is my part and i've been kind of questioning if i should maybe do a fundraiser because yeah, it's a bit of money so how can i do this I still can't believe what actually happened. You guys setting up this whole web shop to actually buy uh, virtual baguettes and then we're planning on selling 2,652 baguettes, but it ended up being over 6,000. Maybe I should ask my friend at TB if they want to help me creating another site and we could maybe sell virtual baguettes again. That could maybe work. I mean, last time when I opened the bakery in Stockholm, we managed to raise 6,000 euros for the Red Cross. I need to find a baguette, find some trash, and then I can make a video, I think. Bonjour, une baguette s'il vous plaît. Roughly 24 hours, I'll head back to Rinjani for this very special hike that I organized with my friends from Green Rinjani, which is going to be a cleaning hike. You know that I love my baguettes. Here on this page, you can buy virtual baguettes. Thank you so much, DB, for helping me set up this fundraiser. And if you buy one baguette, I'm going to try my best to make sure that we bring the same amount of weight down from the volcano in trash. There's going to be a limit of the amount of virtual baguettes you can buy because, of course, we cannot bring thousands and thousands of porters, which I I wish we could but yeah one baguette one handful of trash down from the volcano so i hope you like the idea and please if you are hungry you can buy multiple baguettes see you up in rinjani oh, it's 2:45. Oh, oh that was a sh night oh i could not fall asleep i think i slept roughly an hour and a half oh that's a tough start I just checked the WhatsApp group that I have with DB. We sold 1,864 baguettes. I cannot believe it. Thank you guys so much. That gives me energy. Okay, bye everyone. Bye. Bye. See you in a couple hours once we get to the spot. After a couple hours of driving and managing to sleep for roughly 15 minutes, we made it to this location, which is Senaru, and we're about to get really ready because as you can see all the way here are the porters who are joining us on that trip. Look who is back. Putu is back with us. Morning. Morning, Putu. Are you excited? Excited. <laughs> I thought you were about to say, I'm not excited at all. I hope it's good. Is it your first time up in uh, Minjani? Yeah. And you've been living in Lombok for your whole life. <laughs> yeah. I'm living in Lombok. It's Lombard. always like this. Sick to have you here. And then we also have some new person on the vlog who are. So we have Kat here and Ellie here. Hi. From another beautiful day. Yes. Yeah. On Instagram. They just moved to Lombok and uh, since we met, I've been talking about this volcano cleanup thing and once we started to plan it, they were like, we need to join. So they actually joined. And there was lots of people who wanted to join, but they could not because it was such a short time frame. But these guys, they're joining. So now we have the team, us four, plus the guides, plus the porters. Looks like everyone is ready now. One, two, three, four, and five trucks. We have those 50 people. Yeah. Huh? And this is the vitamins. <laughs> the porter's vitamin. Still cannot believe the fact that we had to pay for the porter's cigarette. Going for cigarette, two million and a half. Two and a half million for cigarette? What? But they wouldn't climb without the cigarettes. So now let's swing to Sembalong, which is 45 minutes away from here. Let's meet everyone again and start the hike all together. <sighs>
finally I can see how many people Itu there is. Thank you guys. So crazy. He's the chef of the yeah, office of Sambalun. Yes. And what is he explaining now? To say that thank you because we are doing something good for the mountain. Yeah. So all of the people from the National Park Office say thank you to us. Okay. Yeah? So it's a great job. So good. Yes? Freaking job. As you can see, we made it to the actual start. Let's gather once more, get this first intro shot that you just saw before. Uh, and then we can move on to start the hike. So happy to be back. Like, I didn't think I would come back this quick, but being here now, even if it's just with an hour and a half of sleep, I can tell you that I'm super happy, super happy. Let's make a change. Let's do better. Yes, it's finally happening. We can start the hike and the cleanup. Boom! Let me also tell you how this whole trip is gonna be divided. We're gonna start from here like last time, from Sembalung all the way to the campsite, which is over there, same as we went before. And what were you telling me just before about the uh, the local? Because we were like talking about the fact that it's so good to see everyone smile, like yes. being happy. And I was asking Ari, do you think they are happy to come and do this? I mean, of course, they earn a bit of money by doing this. They're not volunteer. So what were you telling me? Yeah, because at this time it's uh, pandemic, still pandemic. Yeah. So most of the poulter is not really have a job. Yeah. So when we ask them to join this trip, everybody just want, want to come. Yeah. It's pretty fun now, actually how the fundraise was started actually yesterday but we're already here it was a bit of a bet but i know i can trust you and from the bottom of my heart and from yeah, the, bottom the bottom of, of his, my... his heart as well yeah. thank you so much <sighs> honestly one hour and a half of sleep i don't feel it i'm so happy <laughs> now let's hike <laughs> We made it to post one and I mean just look at this. This is literally what people leave behind them. That is just too much. Like way too much. Like how can you even come with your lunch, cigarettes and everything? You just think that this is a question. You bring it up so bring it down with you. It's like everywhere. Look at this, this, this. Small pieces everywhere. Please respect nature. Take care of her because she needs love, especially nowadays. We all need love. Yeah, do an effort. Don't throw your trash. Just take it with you. Throw it in the bin. Do like everyone else. It's cool to do that. It's not cool to throw. And if you see trash, you can also pick it up because it's not that hard actually. And not only you can see small trash, but people are also trying to hide their stuff behind the bush. So if you go a bit further, you're gonna be even more surprised. Look at this. There's more. This is what I'm talking about. Like how the f is this possible? This is gonna have to change. Post one, success. See you guys later. Yes, right? And remember, no trash, huh? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely zero trash. Yeah. If we see trash, not good. <laughs> see you guys. This is like the randomness of the stuff you can find here is unbelievable. Triple A battery out in the nature, of course. Okay, on to post two. Not on post two yet, but this is what it looks like. Basically, we were just walking and I was talking with Ari and then up oh, you turn a tiny bit on the left and then you see now we're starting to pick up. Wow. It's, it's literally a full trash bag just being dumped on the side. I don't know who is doing this, but it's pretty crazy. Boom. Welcome. Boom. Okay. Boom. One more, one more, one more. Yeah, Thank you. Yes. And now. Clear. Now on to post two. <laughs> Not there yet. Holy sh. See, that's what I mean. Okay, let's do this. Look, 
this was just down there. This yeah. is uh, just the, uh, bottle, bottle, bottle. Yeah. From what they told me, they actually come with the bottle, with the water in. They take their number two down there, if you know what I mean. And they, yeah, I mean, it's better than they use water than they use paper and they throw the paper, but they actually throw the bottle in nature, which is even worse. So, yeah. So sick. Before and, and after. How much better is this, Putu? <laughs> so good. How unreal. It took, good what, walk. literally five minutes, six minutes? <laughs> One guy was a legend. He was climbing up there. He deserves a reward. Now, on to post two. <laughs> and finally, welcome to post two. Now, it's the time that we love the most. When you take a trip like this, the reward every time. With how insane, can, can you guys believe the fact that they're making such a gourmet, gourmet plate? Yeah. Like, and those fruit ladders and everything. Happy Puto? So far, so good. Bye, yeah, petit guys. I was coming, but... We just had the first numbers. 76.5. 76.5 kilogram. Yes. From the bottom all the way here and around here. So this post two is clean. This is the whole pile that is gonna go 15, down now. 15 bags. 15 bags yeah. How many more bags do we have? We we have 200 we have bags. 200 bags. We have 200 bags. Don't worry, we can make more. So wait, if my calculations are correct, let me do the math. I mean, it's gonna get trickier to bring stuff down from up there, I guess. But if 75 divided by 15 bags, so so. There's five kilo per bag, yes, and we kilo. have 185 bags left that we can put five kilos in roughly, which means that we could bring down almost a ton. Plus this, it would be a ton. Yeah, 200 bags, five kilos. That would have been easier this way. But yeah, if we bring down a ton, that would be so sick. A ton, dude. Can you figure out? I mean, I was saying that if we have the weight of the baguette, the baguette is roughly 250 kilos. 250 grams times 2,000. So it's, if my calculations were correct, we were trying to aim for 500 kilos. But if we double it, it means that every time you were actually buying one virtual baguette, it would actually mean that we bring twice the weight of the baguette down and not once like it when it's like this so yeah two baguettes for the price of one but now let's head to post three and that's when the hike really starts to be interesting let's go <laughs> no! no. <laughs> I hold you. No. <laughs> I don't know if you oh, guys no. remember Scary. this cliff that I shot, the nice 360 shot. This is scary landslide. Careful, man. I mean, it's pretty dry, so it shouldn't slide. Crazy. Okay, let's keep on going. <laughs> As you can see, we made it to post four aka the toilet i'm so ashamed to show this but this is the truth behind this place yeah, this is it this is the sewage i mean people can shit if they want here but they don't have to leave all their shit. and this is what we don't really see on the beautiful videos this is absolute garbage and it keeps on going but yeah sewage party This is the sewage. Slightly better, right? They uh, even had to dig a hole to bury the older shit, not the trash. The, the human shit. Post four, check. And look where we are. We made it to the crater rim. But I guess if you've seen the, my previous video. Ah! Nice. Oh, that's insane! About this hike, which is also a lake up there. You might not recognize this place. The view is not the same this time. But I'm with Ariel here, and we decided to go a bit faster than the rest to arrive here on the campsite and start the clean here. Because if we arrive too late, it's gonna be dark. And it's already 6.30, no, 5.30. And sunset is at 6.30. 
but honestly this time felt definitely less tiring but no excuse if you want to climb Rinjani you can even do it with only one hour and a half of sleep last push yeah and as you can see here same issue but look at that everywhere that's what we came for Welcome to the crib for the next one night. This mattress really feels a hundred times comfier than the last one actually that we had. And the pillows as well. Green Rinjani, a hundred points on the surface and look at this. Fried banana with some chocolate sauce directly served like 10 minutes after you arrive. That's like unreal. I'm just gonna have one, put some gloves on and... Oh. This is an absolute goodness, I can tell you. Oh, this one is so good. I had no time for wasting. this like this are you guys ready yes let's see little backstory <laughs> this is so cool since we have all the porters with us 50 of them i thought it was pretty cool to actually download the documentary about trash i spent the night yesterday that's also why i slept only an hour and a half googling documentaries uh, in bahasa so they could understand and i found two made by vice indonesia and they were talking about the trash situation and so on so now it will be time for a movie night <laughs> and i think people are starting to get excited so let's see if everything works and then we can start the movie. Movie at 2,600 meters, but uh, we find this big piece of trash down there. So we actually thought it was perfect to actually use it for. Okay, let's try and see if it works. Nice! <laughs> Plastik adalah bahan unik yang selalu kita gunakan oh, lama, seharusnya menjadi keuntungan. Tapi 5,6 juta metrik ton plastik baru. Good night everyone. Good night. <laughs> Oh, this looks good. So cool. Oh yeah? yeah? Looks like we managed to catch up with some sleep. It is it is currently almost seven. Almost seven. We slept from eight to seven. Yeah. We slept eleven hours. That was good. Oh. Oh. Wow. Look at this, there is a rainbow. Yeah. Oh and it moves with you actually. Wow. And the summit is completely clear up. Ari, sleep well? Very good. Very good. Almost everyone to wake up. <laughs> <laughs> Almost the same. You know, this is the, the second time for me to sleep here without going up to the top. It's nice, huh? I have to be honest, I don't mind not doing the summit this morning. Oh, it felt so good to get those like 10, 11 hours of sleep. It was really, really good. But now it's already, it looks like in a couple of seconds we won't have any sun anymore. I should place a time lapse. Can I see how heavy? How heavy this thing? Holy shit! Heavy? Oh! Holy shit! I think it's roughly 30 kilos. Yeah. Oh! That's extremely heavy. See? And someone will have to have the pain on the shoulder for hours and hours to bring it down. No one is supposed to be responsible except the people trashing themselves. 
super strong. So all the bags that you can see here, all the bags are full. All this, 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 being ready to carry. Fuck this one, I cannot lift it. Oh. All this, 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 it is literally just right here. We we're starting to pick up like right behind this hill this morning. And uh, how long did we pick up for? Like an hour Probably and a half? Two hours. Two hours. And that's just one single part of the campsite. So yeah, there's a lot more left. And we're gonna have maybe three or four of the guys carrying as much as they can down. So all the way down to the village. We'll have a bit less people, but at the same time, we need to bring this down ASAP. We cannot carry it all the way down to the lake and back up. It doesn't make sense. This is unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. This is a real clean up. This is a real clean up, yeah. The beer is gas can. This, this is gonna be heavy. I mean, there used to be apparently a shop. Some uh, guys were yeah, having a little bit of a business here and selling bean tanks and lots of drinks and stuff like this. So of course, everything that is being brought up by someone else, like the people who consume this, they don't want to take it down and there's no trash here. So they just throw it. So I'm glad that this little shop system closed down, but over there, it's disgusting like I cannot wait first to start this zone this is, this is one of the zones that shocked me the most when I arrived the first time when you arrive to a campsite and you're expecting a beautiful campsite with a beautiful view and this is everything you see so yeah Yes, they raced. Good job, huh? Oh. Boom. Boom. Good luck. Goodbye. Thank you. See you down there. Boom. See you, Boom. Guys. See you down. Yeah. See you down. Terima kasih. Yeah? Terima kasih. Ten of the guys. One fifth of the team is going down. Ah, one more. Boom. Yes. Good luck. Thank you. On to another part and I think you remember this part. This is the part that we see when you arrive to the top, the beginning of the campsite. Yeah. You've seen this place. Ah! What? Oh, that's insane. But you haven't seen what is just literally 20 meters after this sign. This is how it looks behind. This is all behind. I mean, you don't even want to put your tent down here. Disgusting. There. All that and that. Okay. But I'm smiling because in a couple minutes I can show you how it's gonna look like afterwards. Ah. Otherwise I will not be smiling. And I'm gonna take some before after photos as well. So we can really see also the difference. Wait, we have numbers coming up now. This is number pressure. It's all of the the trash in total is one ton point seventeen kilogram. One ton, one ton, ton yes. Yeah. Se on one ton seventeen yes. over there. Yes. Wait, so we passed the ton? Yes. I thought we would not even reach the ton. <laughs> no. Lot already. <laughs> we have to wait and see the exact total yeah. number, but this is already insane. Good job guys. Yeah. <laughs> boom, boom. Well job. It's amazing. Oh, this is good to hear. This is very good to hear. <laughs> Ari just informed me that we are about to um, face a little issue, which I didn't think was possible. Check this out. Like, this is, this is only trash. Like, look at the amount of, there is random stuff. There is a gas cooker, there's lots of gas bottles, of course. So disgusting. When I came here the first time and when I saw the trash, I never expected this to be this bad. Yeah. Because I, I saw the trash around and I was like, this is disgusting, but I'm pretty sure with, yeah, with 50 people, we should be fine at least yeah. to clear up this whole space, to go down to the lake and then come back up. And yeah, I feel like we've really done a big progress. I mean, we've done a big progress, but still, this is just yeah. here and it's still not finished. So it's behind up this hill, so maybe can you still? So behind up this, this behind hill, of this one. still a lot of the trash. That's when we're facing yeah. the issue now, because out of the 200 bags, 
we had since we started now there is only 32 35 left we're still counting uh, that are empty that we can use and now the big debate is should we just send a full team with this all the way down and then have um, only like maybe 10, 10 guys with 10, us yeah 10. and then go down to the lake and do it or should we finish this whole thing like there is way enough trash yeah. here to just finish those 30 35 bags so yeah big debate uh we're gonna have to have a bit of a discussion and then we figure out how to do this yeah we'll think let's think a bit take a little bit of a rest while it's still raining and then yeah. uh, hopefully we find the best solution but this is absolutely impressive yeah oh, now that we picked up almost everything the light finally is back look at this this is the first time we see sun since this morning and i think i should actually fly the drone because the light is so good oh, Okay, quick, 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 quick. I packed up everything because I thought we would go to the lake, but no, we are not. We have to be quick. Sun is almost setting. Quick, 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 quick. Do you want to see what I see? See? I have a technique. You can see what I actually see. Are you ready, Ade, for your first flight experience? Yes. Perfect. You're not gonna fly, you're gonna be passenger flight. It's okay, it's almost as good because you have no stress of crashing. You will see. Oh, no, no, it's okay, it's okay. You wanna, you wanna take it? Oh, look, this is this, look. See? Okay, quick, 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 quick. Are you ready to fly? Ready. Ready to fly? Let's go. Let's go. Okay. There was like 30% battery left. I went just above the cloud to do a last dive. And for some reason, I had to go super slow down like this. And it took a good minute to go down almost. Oh, that was scary. 0% battery left. First time I land a drone with this few battery. Okay. Third day, last day, this day we were so lucky with the weather. I mean, we could have a bit more sun, but at least it doesn't look like we're gonna have any rain. And on top of that, we can see the summit. So yeah, we had a early wake up call, then pick up the last pieces of the rubbish here. And yeah, the guys are packing up. We're on our way down, not to the lake. Since we, all the bags are full, it was not worth going down to the lake to show you how dirty it was. So yeah, we're heading back to Saint Balong. We're gonna be able to also show you the pile that this represents. But in the meantime, since it's beautiful, let's take one last drone photo with everyone. Okay. Can I have everyone hands in the air? Okay. Three, two, one, and scream! Okay. So before we head back down, I wanted to show you one last thing. Because I'm here 
with Lin and guess how old Lin is? He's 66 years old and look what he's able to carry. He was packing up his stuff and I wanted to check how heavy it was. And honestly, I can, I can barely lift this thing with one hand. It's probably 30 kilo. 66 years old and he's able to carry probably more than 30 kilos on a bamboo stick and still we have like a good six hours hike on like some of the steepest paths you've ever been so yeah if you think you're tired yeah. look at Lin and think again because he's a legend you're a legend absolute legend thank you and in flip-flops huh in case you were wondering oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so as you can see, we safely made it back to the Star in San Marung. And we finally packed up all the trash on this trek. And of course, instead of going back in this car, we thought that it was good to enjoy a last moment of fresh air with everyone in the back of the truck. It's so good to see everyone just smiling and laughing. Everyone's just such in a happy mood now. Yes. I mean, they were in a happy mood the whole yes. trip. All trip. The whole trip. But now it's like party time. Yeah. <laughs> so good. See you next time. See you next time. Thank you, huh? Yeah. <laughs> see you next time. It's so Thank good. You. It's almost sad to see them leave. See ya! That was amazing. Thank you. Thank you so yes. much for like the planning, the last minute, the tr uh, everything that you did was insane. But see, I mean, it shows that sometimes it really looks like a last minute thing, but even some last minute thing can bring up such a big result. So yeah, never think it's too last minute to do the thing you're supposed to do. Yes, like as long as we want to do it, so let's do it. <laughs> that was so cool. I'm not gonna film what is gonna happen with this because yeah. the guys are gonna sort everything. And I mean, there are so many glass bottles, plastic bottles, hard plastic, and. All those are actual money because they can sell it to junk shops and the rest is going to be collected by the government yeah. in a couple of days yeah. and then i don't know how this vlog is going to end up because in three days Mataram office, Mataram office. we're going to go to the office again and show the video to the officials and see what they think about yeah. and how we can change and make it a better solution for the future because yeah. this was just the intro the main course is just about to be eaten in the future yes <laughs> <laughs> so good. We're exhausted, honestly yeah. exhausted. Yeah. Honestly, one of the best adventures I've had in a long yeah. time. Pretty good. We so good. Yeah. Oh, see you guys. Okay. Yeah, three days. Yeah. <laughs> As you can see, I'm back here in Bomba. And yeah, I mean, this is a couple of weeks after and I still cannot believe the fact that we managed to pick up 1.6 tons of trash up on Rinjani. How? A couple of days ago, we went back to the National Park Office and we discussed the long-term solutions. And it's gonna be trickier than I expected, but it's looking good. And I will keep you guys updated on all that later on in different vlogs. But I wanted to quickly end this video by saying how good it felt to finally do something better, like to do a slight little change like this and, and also see how, how crazy it got spread all over the news here. It went super viral in Indonesia. Like every single big news site, newspaper, whatever, even Went on TV like this this whole story got shared so much and I cannot be thankful enough for that like this was not even something I was thinking about but yeah that kind of tell me that doing better is way better than doing more I should keep on doing better project if you have any suggestions please let me know down under and in the meantime I think it could be some kind of another better project coming up in the next couple of days weeks I don't know 
I guess you will see. In the meantime, have a wonderful day and don't forget that sometimes in life, those little things, little ideas can sometimes yeah, create amazing things. So yeah, don't forget to do better and see you guys in the next video. So sunny. <laughs>